Hey guys, this is Ryan from IamTheKiller.net, and today I'm going to be showing you my Airbase NG script mixed with DriftNet. DriftNet takes, well, it sniffs out JPEGs, GIFs, any type of image from a specific network interface. Now, uh, this is particularly interesting when you factor in such as Airbase NG as a man in the middle attack, so you can now look at all the images that are flowing through your virtual network. This is pretty creepy to sit here and watch and see all the images that are flying through your network or the targets that have connected to you forcefully. And so today I'm just going to show you my modification. It's just a small one line change to my Airbase NG script which will bring up DriftNet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here then back track three, and if you followed, if you've been following my Airbase NG um, post that I have on IamTheKiller.net, then you'll be up to, well, you'll you'll have the same exact script I will. So this is my modified one, which there isn't much modified, but so we start up Airbase NG. From Airbase NG, it's going to set up a dummy network. All right, so DriftNet comes up. Oops, let's bring Drift, DriftNet over here. We want it really big because we want to see what goes, what what all goes through. Now, off camera, I have an iPhone which I'm going to connect to my Airbase network. I'm gonna click Other. I want to try to join a different different network. So I'm gonna I'm gonna name it My Network even though I don't see it, but I'm just going to click join. And there we go, connected. Yay, my network. All right, so from here, I'm going to open up Safari, and I want to look at, I want to look at MacBooks on Flickr. So I'm going to go. Searching. Oh, look at all these images that are coming up for MacBooks. So, as you can see, DriftNet has taken all the images that I have requested, and they're still coming. And it's put it in this nice little window for me. So you can basically spy on what the images. That's not a. That's not a MacBook. You can basically spy on what people are looking at. These aren't MacBooks. What's going on here? Okay, so say you see one you like, like this one. I click on it. Okay. And so what it's going to do is you click on it and it's going to save this file in a temporary folder. So let's make sure it saved it. Now where did it say it put it? Saved it in temp. So we're going to do CD file nn okay and it saved it as driftnet1 I believe what did it save it as yeah driftnet driftnet1 I don't see it maybe it saved it somewhere else oops Oh, well, maybe I was in the wrong directory. CD temp file nn9. All right, let's find out where they. Maybe it saved it in root. Ah, yes, it did. Okay, so there's there's the two pictures. I must have clicked on another one. So it's going to save it right in your root directory. So if you see anything particularly interesting, that's where it's going to go. Now, like I said, this is particularly creepy because you're practically spying on any image that goes through your tubes. So, so now that I've done that, I'm going to show you what I what all I've changed, which isn't much. I'm going to close my net, my uh, Airbase network. C 
So all the way to the bottom, I added driftnet dash i, which is for interfaces, AT0. Driftnet seems to work on virtual interfaces as opposed to my actual uh, RA USB 0 interface. And that's basically it. I just put that at the end of my AP script and you can go from there. What I'm going to be working on is adding Driftnet, Wi-Fi Zoo, and then finally maybe Ettercap. So this is just a small installation, small addition to my soft AP script. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.